Liam, you're here as part of the Platinum One Challenge. Do you think it's a good thing for Arsenal and for the League of Ireland in particular? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, Rovers are going to uh, see how uh, their team stacks up against a very young Arsenal team and a very young Manchester United team. Probably some of the best talent in Britain um, coming through at both clubs. Um, and it's it's a real challenge for a Shamrock Rovers team. And I think Michael O'Neill has tried some of his young players as well to see how they stack up against our young players. Uh, so f for that reason alone, it's going to be uh, an interesting exercise. And we're li really looking forward to, to, the, to the competition, particularly playing Manchester United, uh, because we don't play against them at under-21 level or this age group. We play against them at under-18 level, and then it kind of stops... Uh, so for that reason, and then also for the reason that Arsenal are coming back to Dublin after a long time. Uh, OK, it's not our first team, but it's a very good team and I hope the Arsenal supporters turn out and, and, give, us, uh, and give us a hand to winning the competition. How do you treat the Reserve League? Is it a feeder ground for the, the, fir the first team or do you place a lot of importance in winning the league, of the Reserve League? No, we don't place much importance about winning. Uh, our job is to develop players for the first team and if we can't develop them for the first team or they're not good enough to go into the first team, then we want to make sure they get careers in the game. And I think you know, both clubs, Manchester United and Arsenal, have a great tradition in doing that. Uh, so the Reserve League winning it means, means nothing at all. But if you're going to get good results, consistently good results means that you've got good players. So I suppose you want to be, you want to be challenging to win it, but actually the winning of it means, uh, means nothing. We'd rather produce a player than win the league. Uh, as head of youth, youth development with Arsenal, is there much talent? You, you're always looking around for new talent. Is there much talent arising from this country now at this, at this moment in time? I think there's quite a lot of talent, yeah. I was uh, only this morning I was out watching the Irish under-16 team playing against Manchester City, and I thought they had some, at least half a dozen very, very interesting players. Uh, and players that, from the experience I have, will, will undoubtedly go on and be footballers. Now, we'll have to wait and see whether they're going to be able to represent Ireland at international level, but I would hazard a guess that three or four of them are going to be good enough, you know, when they're 19, 20, to be involved with the Irish team. Yeah, and of course, the goalkeeping position at Arsenal is one of... It's been talked about quite regularly now. But we have our own um, Sean McDermott there. For, for, he's an under-19 now. Do you see he has, he has a big future? Uh, Sean has another two years with us, and uh, he's only 17 now. Uh, so he has... Uh, he has uh, to develop over the next two years um, to keep goal well, um, to learn all the tricks of the trade as regards being a goalkeeper. Um, and I think he's a very, very dedicated boy, so he's going to have every chance of achieving that. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a difficult one for a goalkeeper to say, well, he's going to be ready at 19 and 20. Very, very few are. They have to go through probably years and years of an apprenticeship, much more so than an outfield player. Um, but I think Sean's got a good career ahead of him. Sticking with the same subject matter, I suppose, have, uh, have you been given uh, Arsene Wenger any uh, tips on Shea Gibbons' uh, dressing room manners? No, I haven't. No, I haven't been asked. And I don't have uh, uh, any inside knowledge of what's going on as regards recruitment, whether we're going to go for a goalkeeper or we're going to stick with what we've got. So you can't give me a scoop? I'm afraid not, no. Thanks very much. Okay. Cheers.